All right, guys, as you can see, this is Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3 model, okay? And this one does have a Windows issue. It's very slow and then it doesn't log in. I mean, many other problems. So what we decided to reinstall the system. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First of all, you need to have one Windows 11 bootable Windows thumb drive or installer that you can see. And this one created in UEFI, okay? You need that one and also you need to have the battery charged this is a big fact because we don't want to get any sort of interruption so what are you going to do first we're going to plug it in in any side okay let's plug it in and now we need to shut it down first shut it down good boom now any Windows laptop, what they do, they have some sort of BIOS key, all right? For example, for Dell F2, for HP F10, ESC button, F1, for ASOS, all different functional key. Now, for Lenovo, they don't have this sort of key. Instead, if you look at on the right-hand side for this machine, you can see there is a hole there. This is for headphone, and that one for... Noble button. So if you have some sort of pin like that, and if you push a button while it's switched off, it's going to turn on. See? It's going to turn on. So now what you can see is it's called Noble button menu. There are a few options. Normal starter, then BIOS setup, which is second option. We're going to hit enter. And here you go. We are in the main page now. From information, this shows the model number and everything. We're going to go to configuration. And from here, let's check if there is anything to change. There is all fine. We're going to go to startup. And here is the option, as you can see, it's called secure boot. We need to keep it enabled because we're going to do in EUFI format, means secure boot has to be on. So make sure this setup is enabled. And then Intel Flat from Trusted Module uh, Technology, yeah, Trust Technology that has to be disabled, as you can see here. And USB boot is enabled. If you would like to do legacy, you can go for legacy from there. But in that point, you have to turn the secure boot disabled if you want in legacy. So that's all it is. We're going to save it. And don't forget our Windows 11 UEFI Windows installer already connected. You know, just to show you one more time. Secure boot. Disable if you'd like for legacy. And then we're going to go to here. And we're going to put legacy. This is what it is for legacy. And we're going to do this one as well. Put priority. Now if you save it. Is going to work for legacy. Remember it. Now, whatever we change is, if you go to the opposite section, it's going to give us UEFI boot. Okay? Now, these things are clear because I found many comments that it doesn't work. I connected, but it's not getting any boot. This is the reason might be. Okay? So, we're going to change into UEFI again. And we're going to go for... UEFI, as you can see here. Startup also. Enable, secure boot. All right, good. So once you hit enter, it's going to go to restart and it's going to load up from the USB bootable thumb drive. If it doesn't, what you should do, you need to follow the same procedure, switch it off and push the noble button when it shows the novel button menu, go for boot option and select from there manually. So as you can see here, I'm going to hit next. Install now. Accept the terms and condition, hit next. And now we're going to go for clean installation, which is the bottom option. And here we go. Be careful before you delete any partition. Make sure you back up your data because if you delete it, you're going to lose everything. So I'm going to delete all of them. I just want to keep a single partition here. 
And if you are not able to format this drive, and if it doesn't let you go to the next option, you might have some sort of issue with your internal SSD or hard drive. Make sure you check it. If it doesn't happen, you can pull this off, connect into different donor laptop or PC, and then you can try to reinstall it.